Hi guys! Microsoft Teams and WebEx are two of the most popular collaborative and communicative platforms. But which one should you be using? To help you make an informed decision, I'll explain the main differences between WebEx and Microsoft Teams, and we'll consider seven criteria to see how these two tools stack up. And thank you for using the links in the description. So let's find out which is better for you. For the features, Microsoft Teams has lots of basic technology offerings like video and audio conferencing, content sharing, and co-authoring. You can also send unlimited chats, files, and more with Microsoft Teams. Best of all, these features are easy for anybody to use, making employee onboarding a breeze. But WebEx offers many additional technological features that MS Teams does not. It enables users to send video messages with vidcast, join video meetings from any device with click to join, and hold virtual events with WebEx events. WebEx also has features that are geared towards enterprise users like site administration and single sign-on. These make it easy for IT departments to manage and monitor user activity. WebEx also gives you AI assistance during meetings and webinars and automatically transcribes and translates your meetings in 100 plus languages. And for the integrations, business app integrations are the industry standard these days. And most apps integrate with each other no matter which product you choose. One of the main selling points of Microsoft Teams is that it works seamlessly with all other Microsoft products. This is a great feature if your company already uses Microsoft Office 365. Alongside numerous others, to enable seamless collaboration and file sharing, for example, Trello, Google Drive, Salesforce, and Dropbox. Like Teams, there are a plethora of WebEx integrations at your disposal. You can visit the WebEx App Hub to see them. Its strategic partnerships with Apple, Google, Miro, and Slack give it a leg up over its competitors. And while it is not tailor-made for businesses that use Outlook and Microsoft Office, it does offer integrations with these applications. Although WebEx can be integrated with Microsoft Office, it isn't quite as seamless as Microsoft Teams. After all, Teams is a Microsoft product. And for the pricing. Both WebEx and Microsoft Teams charge per user per month, and both have useful fee versions of their applications. Where they differ is in how much they offer and at what price they offer it. WebEx has a free version, and its features are robust for a free application. It allows for breakout rooms, video messaging, and meeting recordings on local storage. For individual and small businesses, WebEx's free version is certainly more than enough. However, if you need enterprise-level features like site administration, single sign-on, or custom branding, you'll need to sign up for one of WebEx's paid plans. Their business plan starts at $25 per license per month if you pay monthly or $22.50 per month if you pay yearly and includes all the features of the free plan and many more. And if you need to use WebEx's professional services for a large organization, their enterprise plan is customizable based on users' needs. Microsoft Teams' free plan is similar to that of WebEx, but it also includes polling and other interactive features that are only available in WebEx's paid plans. The free version also allows users to chat with coworkers and customers and share unlimited files. For most individuals, the free version of MS Teams is more than enough, but if you need to host group meetings, large meetings with hundreds of people, or save lots of meeting data on the cloud, $4 per user per month with annual subscription and auto-renews will get you there. Microsoft Teams is included in all Office 365 plans, which start at $6 per user per month with annual subscription and auto-renews. For $12.50 per user per month, each user has access to Office 365 Standard, which includes Microsoft Teams, and a host of other features like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneDrive for Business, and more. And for the max participant capacity? When it comes to max participant capacity, Teams and WebEx offer similar numbers. In their free plans, 100 people can get together for a meeting. In Microsoft Teams, you can upgrade to up to 300 participants in the standard plan, up to 1,000 participants in enterprise plans, and up to 100,000 participants in live streaming events in enterprise plans. 
In WebEx, you have two paid options, 200 participants in their business plan and 1,000 participants in their enterprise plan. This point goes to Microsoft Teams for the slightly bigger capacity. And for the meeting length? When it comes to meeting length, both Teams and WebEx offer short meeting lengths in their free plans. In Microsoft Teams, meetings are limited to 60 minutes in the free plan. If you have a paid plan, your meetings can last for up to 30 hours. WebEx limits your meeting time to only 40 minutes in their free plan. In the paid plans, you can have meetings for up to 24 hours. Microsoft Teams gets a point in this round due to the longer meeting time limit. And for the cloud storage, Microsoft Teams offers 5 gigabytes of cloud storage in their free plan. In paid plans, storage capacities increase from 10 gigabytes up to 1 terabyte of cloud storage. On the other hand, WebEx does not offer any free cloud storage. It does, however, offer 10 gigabytes of cloud storage in their business plan and unlimited cloud space in their enterprise plan. Microsoft Team offers free cloud storage, so it wins this round. And for the security, Cisco provides end-to-end -end encryptions of all WebEx Teams data, and customers can control their own encryption keys. Cisco encryption addresses the transport of data, but not the storage of encrypted data on devices. Cisco also has federation between different organizations using WebEx Teams, while Microsoft doesn't yet have intercompany federation. Microsoft relies on their Intune mobile device management and encryption at rest and in motion for device security. In conclusion, both apps will definitely make sure that your information is secure, However, in some reports, WebEx has ranked more secure than Microsoft Teams thanks to a more robust end-to-end -end encryption system. So, choosing between Microsoft Teams and WebEx depends on your business and your needs. Both tools come with advantages and disadvantages. It will depend on your current needs and budget. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thank you. So hopefully this video helps you out. If it did, leave a comment and click the like button. That helps too. And goodbye for now.